and welcome. My name is Jennifer and I will be discussing the problem solving math question. Brooke the detective. There are two main problems with this question. The first is that Brooke the detective looked for a number. She found a two digit number less than 50. The sum of its two digits was 12. Their difference was six. What number did Brooke find? And the second part to this problem is that Brooke found a two-digit even number. One of its digits was half the other. The number was greater than 50. What number did Brooke find? Now, to help me solve this equation, I'll be using two different models to assist in working out this problem. The models I will be using is Pollard's four stage model and the other model that I have researched is based on the work of Zalf, Us and Gray. There are four stages to Pollard's model. They are understanding the problem, diffuse a plan solving for solving it, carry your plan out and look back to examine your situation. To help students understand the different strategies, I have combined the four stages with research by Zafos and Gary to help students understand each stage. With stage one, understand the problem, read the problem, then reread the problem as this will help sort out the core information of the problem. Stage two, diffuse a plan. Draw a picture to help students see it, see the problem. Determine the goal of the problem by highlighting the key parts and make a prediction of the answer, which will help students decide if they are on the right track or not. Then, Stage three, carry out the plan, solve the problem, begin to write an equation for your drawing. Work it out, basically. And finally, stage four, looking back. Look over your work, talk about it. Does it make sense? Are there any problems or errors? Go back over the question and see if the answer works with the question. All right, yeah. With those models in mind, let's start. So, first problem, Brooke the detective looked for a number. She found a two-digit number less than 50. The sum of its two digits was 12. The difference was 6. What number did she find? Let's reread the question and highlight the important bits. Brooke the detective looked for a number. Well, that doesn't really give us much, does it? Hmm. She found a two-digit number less than 50. We know that the number is less than 50. I'm going to highlight that so we remember. The sum of its two digits was 12. So when we add up the two digits, we should get 12. Better highlight that. Their difference was 6. The difference between the two digits Needs to be six. Let it highlight so we can remember. What number did Brooke find? That part we're gonna work out. So I'm gonna write down all the numbers that are below 50 that their digits equal 12. So I did this before, and the two numbers that I found was 39 and 48. So Basically, I went 3 plus 9 equals 12. Well, that's part of the problem. Two digits that equal 12. And 48. 4 plus 8 equals 12. So it needs to be one of those two. Hmm. And now, we need to find their difference. We need to know which number is the difference between 6. Now we have to flip the numbers over so that the larger number you can take away with the smaller that smaller number take away from the larger number. So, that. so let's take 48. 
So we can agree 8 minus 4 equals 4. Another one equals 6. There's no difference between the 6 between them. Well, let's try 39. 9 minus 3 equals 6. Oh, cool. So 39, there's only 6 numbers between them. So it needs to be this. 39. That's a number below 50. The difference is 6. And both digits equal 12. So the f number that Brooke found was 39. Alright, let's go on to the next, second part. So, Brooke found another digit, but this time it was a two-digit even number. One of its digits was half the other. The number was greater than 50. What number did she find? Hmm. Let's reread the question and highlight the important parts. Brooke found a two-digit even number. We know that the digit has two digits, two numbers in it, and is even. Better highlight that so I can remember. One of its digits was half, of, was half the other. So one of its digits is half the value of the other digits. Okay, not highlight that. It seems a bit tricky. The number was greater than 50. Okay, so the number's over 50. Cool. Highlight. What number did she find? That part we're working out now. So, step one. I'm going to find all the numbers that have at least one digit that is half the value. Now, that can't be in the 50s or the 70s or the 90s as their numbers, if I half 5, so 5 divided by 2, Equals 2.5. It's all a whole number. 7 divided by 2, 3.5. Now a whole number. 9 divided by 2, 4.5. Now a whole number. So we're trying to find a whole number. So the numbers that I have found is 63, because 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 84, because 8 divided by 2 is 4. Sorry, that's meant to be 2. Okay. Now let's look back at the question. So, both numbers are over 50. Cool. Both numbers have the digit that's half the value of the other. Yep. Half of 6 is 3. Half of 8 is 4. And, however, one of the numbers is odd. The other one is even. So, 48 is the answer as it is even. And it fits all parts of the question. Done.